Well, well, well. Looks like we have another one. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Don Julio. Give me that fire content once again. And guys, what is going on in 2019? All of our rappers, 6 9 Blueface, 21 Savage. I mean, I could go on and on, but today we're going to be talking about two specifically. And today we're going to be talking about NBA Youngboy and YNW Melly. I hope I'm saying that right. I do not know too much about him, but without further ado, let's get into the fuckery. And so far, I'm going to be talking about NBA Youngboy. Now, NBA Youngboy has been coming under some heat, and I'm not just saying that because he has herpes. I'm saying that because he just had a kid with his ex, baby mama, and if you see her, she looks like a Chucky on crack. She looks scary as hell. And I don't know if he got into a domestic abuse. That's not something I really know much about, but I'm going to put an article in the link below from this source that pretty much is just saying that NBA Youngboy got caught with marijuana in, at Atlanta, and that, you know, getting caught with marijuana in Atlanta is no fucking joke. Like, they're saying that he could potentially be facing 10 years in prison now i don't know too much about nba young boy but what i do know about him is that he's you know he's a strong guy i mean he's taking care of all of his four i think five kids at this point now um he's not the best educated and he didn't have the best um groundwork to have a thriving life as a normal member of society you know and he just got fame man. the dude's 19 like he's still a goddamn kid but I mean, if you guys like NBA Youngboy, keep him in your prayers because he's going through some take K shit right now where he's not going to be coming out for a long time if he gets convicted or they're probably just going to hold him there until he just suffers the worst person, uh, the worst possible hell in his mind he possibly can. Anyway, let's get to YNW Melly, the man of the hour. You know him, you love him or you hate him and you probably don't know him and you probably don't give a fuck about him. But anyway, he came out with a song called Murder on His Mind. Now, this is some serious take a shit because he just got convicted of two counts of murder where he was allegedly killed. He allegedly killed his, you know, his partners. He shot them. He shot them to death, which is kind of crazy because when I heard the song, there was a lyric in there saying that I had my whole, I had uh, him in my arms and he was bleeding to death. So some serious take a the race type of shit. So I don't know too much about YNW Melly, but people were comparing him to the young thug and they were saying that he was the kind of guy who people cared more about his music and less of his antics than his, um, you know, he wasn't doing much trolling, wasn't doing much um, pr um, any publicity stunts to get his music out there. People were genuinely liking his music. So it's kind of sad to see another person with so much talent and so much um, people rooting for him fall down just like that. So what I want to do is get your guys' opinions. Do you guys think that rappers are continually being attacked in 2019? Or do you guys think that it's honestly their fault and that people just have to move differently in 2019? Because if you get caught, it's probably going to be a big L. <laughs> well, I, guys, guys, I appreciate you guys watching my content. Uh, you know, I post once or twice a week. I want to post more for you guys. But if you guys like the videos I'm making right now, can you guys please like, comment, and subscribe? Please tell me what I could be doing better. And I appreciate you guys. And please have a nice day. It's your boy, Don Julio, man. And I am out. Peace.